Hello everyone! Uh, this game comes as a suggestion from a subscriber, Nick Thorison, and uh, he suggested I should show uh, the first game played in space, uh, or this game here, played between uh, astronaut Greg, Ch uh, Greg Chemetov and uh, the NASA ground control. Uh, I, th I actually thought I was uh, preparing the first ever chess game played in chess, but it turned out <laughs> I was uh, actually analyzing the other one uh, between Greg and NASA ground control, but I will show the first game played in space uh, a couple of videos after this one. So, it was played in 2008, in August, and well, well, it's a very interesting game, you know, playing from space, uh, astronauts versus ground control, uh, it actually made me wonder about other things. Uh, is it really one of the first games played in, ch uh, one of the first chess games played uh, in outer space? Uh, probably not, I mean, somewhere out there in a, in a distant planet, in a, in a distant galaxy, uh, surely there are civilizations that have evolved to the stage that uh, they probably have their own version uh, of uh, the ultimate intellectual game that is chess on Earth. But uh, you know, on other planets it could be it could be something totally different. So this is uh, what interests me. What do you think? If uh, if another civilization would uh, create such a game, would it would it in any way compare to chess, or would it be would it even be on a rectangular board? Uh, would it maybe be a circle? Would it be a sphere? Would it? Uh, wh what would it look like? So, and uh, what would influence the game to evolve the way that chess evolved on Earth? So that's that's something that interests me. But uh, okay, let, let, let's get back to this game. Uh, here, Greg Chemetov, the astronaut, has the white pieces, and he plays d4. Uh, NASA ground control responds with the d5. We have knight to c3, the Chigorin variation. Uh, c6, bishop to f4, and knight to f6. Uh, we have knight to f3, knight bd7, e3, uh, e6, knight to e5, and here we have queen to a5, pinning the knight on c3. Uh, bishop to d3, uh, Greg simply continues developing. We have knight captures, bishop captures, and bishop to a3. When I saw this move, I thought it was a... It was a <laughs> not, not a mouse slip, but that it was a... Uh, wrong notation, I thought actually bishop to b4 was the move here, but it actually makes sense, I mean, if white captures, he will ruin his pawn structure and black will capture the knight on c3, and uh, on the other hand, you, you are threatening to capture the b2 pawn with an attack on the rook and the knight. So an interesting move by the NASA ground control. Uh, queen to c1, Greg defends this, and we have uh, bishop back to b4 now. Now there is a threat of bishop captures knight, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, here, Greg simply castles, and uh, NASA ground control play uh, b6. And while you do have the option of actually winning a pawn here, if you play bishop captures, pawn captures, and queen captures, uh, you did win a pawn, but uh, look at all the dark squares. And uh, I don't think NASA ground control wants to allow this, as Greg is an astronaut, uh, astronaut so I don't think he, he will have a problem uh, exploiting the space left behind. So after this uh, castling move, b6 was played, uh, a4 now, bishop to a6, and this bishop to a6 is actually a terrible move as it uh, really, really locks in the queen there on a5, and Greg immediately takes advantage of this. He plays knight to b5. And what's the idea here? The idea is that if you capture the knight, c captures knight, a captures some b5, uh, the queen is trapped, and the rook will grab the queen on the next move, or a queen will have to grab rook. Uh, either way, you, uh, black loses the queen here. So after knight to b5, uh, NASA ground control castles, we have bishop captures on f6, g captures on f6, and c3 now, uh, attacking the bishop. Uh, c captures some b5, uh, as there really is no uh, way to avoid this, and now instead of a captures on b5, trapping the queen, uh, this would result in bishop captures, rook captures queen, bishop captures on d3. Now both of white rooks are under attack, and after something like rook to a1, simply capture the rook, queen captures, and bishop back to d6. Sure, you're better here as white, but uh, black still has two rooks and a nice dark square bishop. He, he will still pose problems for you. So after this, c captures on b5. Greg doesn't immediately recapture a captures on b5. Rather, he plays rook to d1. Now there is no rook on f1 for black to attack, after white recaptures this, and uh, after rook a to c8 we have a captures on b5 now. Uh, uh, bishop captures on c3, rook captures queen, bishop captures rook and queen to b1, and uh, it's not just that you want a queen, but you, you're also going to win, uh, win one of these bishops, as um, 
Nasa ground control plays bishop to b7, but now comes b4, and now your a5 bishop is trapped. So f5, you know, doesn't really matter what you play. A captures, b captures, and now rook to c1. Uh, exchanging rooks, uh, a4, rook captures, bishop captures, uh, and queen to b4. We have bishop to d7, uh, but now simply queen captures on a4, uh, rook to c8, and uh, here it does seem like uh, there is a threat of rook to c1 check perhaps, uh, but Greg isn't afraid of this, he simply plays queen captures on a7, uh, Nessa tries rook to c1 check, bishop to f1 blocking, and it seems like black can actually pull this off by playing bishop captures on b5. There's no way to defend the bishop on f1. The bishop can't move, it's pinned. Uh, but actually white uh, can solve this pretty easily with queen to b8 check, king g7 and simply grab the bishop with the queen. So unfortunately there is no way for Nessa to recover from this after bishop to f1. Bishop to c8 was played but now it's uh, pretty much over. b6, b7 coming. King to g7, now b7, <coughs> bishop captures, <coughs> queen captures, uh, and after king to f6, uh, f3 and h6, uh, Nessa decided to, to resign this game, as it's only a matter of time, there's really no point, uh, king is coming to f2, the bishop will then be activated with a d3, b5 doesn't really matter, even the king is coming into the game, and it, it'll be over very quickly, f4 pretty much locks uh, the king there on f6, so... Uh, there's no point in resuming this game, and uh, in this position, NASA resigned the game. And uh, a wonderful game <laughs> by the astronaut Greg Chemitov, or Gregory, I believe it's his full name. Uh, after he won this game, he then uh, started playing simultaneous games, like uh, six, six simultaneous games against uh, different space stations on Earth, and uh, I don't really know the result of those games, but uh, uh, this game he handled pretty, pretty you know, decently. Uh, I'm interested uh, how he would fare against, uh, for example, the, the Russian uh, <laughs> space station on Earth. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Paul Miller and Burak Uzun Parmak for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. And uh, I really am interested. What do you think? Uh, if chess, a game like chess developed uh, some in some other civilization, uh, what do you think it could uh, it could look like? <laughs> what would maybe be different and uh, what would maybe be the goal of the game. So yeah, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.